Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- ah! That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Think you can swill with the best? Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack, but I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna was drinking in the longhouse when the attack began. Others can attest to that. Hardly the behavior of someone expecting an attack. Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler. Hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Birna was packed for a long journey the night of the attack. You think she wanted to leave us? I think she was prepared to leave, that's certain. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? Galen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Galen sees an important meaning. Gallon told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. You. 
You told me you found yellow paint on Galen's longboat, didn't you? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Did you find enough clues around Grandbridge Shire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. Come on, I need the tunnel! How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen. You have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny. Carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She's a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Thor himself could now drink me! Traitor is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. <laughs> Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. 
Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Show me. Need to cloak myself here. Probably cowering within the monastery. Stop her! She means to be 
raise me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to go for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you get to see it. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? <laughs> I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news.
Avon, have you seen Wallace? Good to see. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridgeshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Eivor, if you've a moment to spare... Good day! A new customer. Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvi tells me you are merchants. Hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend. You look upon the Master of the Thousand Eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in Opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mineral. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Evil. If you've a moment to spare... Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. 
Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another. He was bestowed on us like a... Like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. They belong to Wallace. Why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. <laughs> Strong scent down here. Strange. There's a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? <sighs> Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it. Are you certain? Petra, where are you? Petra! Hello! Mimir, guide me. Have I lost her too? Ah, the elk. You will know where she has gone. I am... Um, I am sorry to trouble you, Lord. 
Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to Sutunger's Hall! What have you done with Petra? You the other way! What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Evil, stop! Yes. I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There is no need to question this carrier. Oh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra. I met your old friend, the White Elk, but he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited! For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, oh, look there! This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? I'm up here! Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! No! No, no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it! Just like your Sunin! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go! Wallace should be over there! Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one! I believe so! We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squid. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra! Hurry! Tell me, little rabbit, have you seen a man named Wallace around here? Mm, I see, I see. Thank you for the help. Eivor, look! The elk has returned! There! Do you see it? The white elk leading us to Wallace just as before. Come on, Eivor, chase the elk! Until we have Wally. 
this? No! No! Don't go! Wait, wait. We're home. Full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home, slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> Mushrooms. So the elk, just another dream. Maybe so, but don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission. <laughs>